Hey, what's going on, CLG FGC? I'm here to talk about why this has everybody pissed. Everyone in the FGC is angry because of this little box right here, and we have all gathered here today to discuss why Hitbox, or more generally, leverless controllers, controllers where you use buttons to control directions for your inputs rather than something like a D-pad or an arcade stick, has all of the FGC arguing back and forth about what should be allowed, what is considered cheating, and what the future of the FGC looks like if we don't take action today. A lot of people are very passionate about this topic, and I think it shows a big divide between like a lot of the current gen player mindset and a lot of the older gen player mindset in my opinion but we're here today to break that down and kind of share our opinions about it and just talk about hitbox is it cheating or not yes yes <laughs> maybe i got some, I got some thoughts <laughs> on this <laughs> so hitbox has been around for a while I, I think the only thing that's changed is, was now the hitbox players are winning uh i feel like back in the day True. uh there was it was you know it was a smaller player base for the amount of people that use hitbox uh, the person that created hitbox uh dustin shout outs to him uh he was a marvel 3 player and it was just kind of only like the marvel 3 players they like used it back in the day i remember seeing it and then thinking like wow this is definitely the best controller by far now I feel like as a stick user, I'm the minority, like compared to like the amount of like hitboxes. That's not. And that's pads. not actually true. Dude, you know dude, it's not I'm, true. I'm, I'm serious though. I, I, it was it Combo Breaker 2019. And I, I like stopped and like I got up out of my seat. So I was playing casuals. I looked around, and I realized I was the only stick player for like like a 200 foot radius and it, it, it actually scared scared the crap you're out of me surrounded by nerds yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah basically if you use the hitbox you're a nerd so it's it's definitely like the nerdy controller oh, we can sure. all be uh, a little egotistical and call them all nerds now that's what i like to do but now i'm, I'm one of them because i'm messing with it but it's not actually like objectively sticks are still yeah, number one yeah it's getting there though it's getting but, there I but feel like. pad pad has already replaced stick mm -hmm. for the vast majority of people i mean to me really yeah wait, I wait, think... wait you said pad is replacing stick yeah for the longest time i mean you you plan pad right like uh, pad is life yeah <laughs> it's, i think i think pad is the best controller to be honest i still think that I think it's really good. It's good i feel like in older times you know the, the boomer days a lot of the time, people just defaulted to arcade sticks, period. Because, I mean, if you went to Japan to play in arcades or whatever, if you play on pad, you're like screwed, right? Like, there's mm -hmm. not much you could really do besides, like, learn stick if you go there. It was very there's important. No ports or anything. Well, yeah. if you go even so, more boomer, it didn't matter Japan or not. All you yeah, did was play an arcade, right? Yeah, consoles. Yeah. That's the only controller there. There yeah. was, before our time, there was a moment where people were like, consoles are not the way to play. And if you play on console, that's illegitimate. And we really? only yeah. count arcade results. Yeah. 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 I, I, didn't is... know, I didn't know the old school uh, lore. I didn't there had know. to be a transition period where people had to switch to consoles for tournaments. That was yeah. not a unbumpy ride. That was rocky roads, you know? Yeah. Is this any different than... This is similar. I heard that one story of like them using like bad ports for console games and stuff like that. Like like in like mid 2000s, right? Like and like 2022 also. That still hasn't changed. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> your console that's ports true. still suck. So that's true. That's very true. But like obviously, like you know, it, it was more in the sense of like you know, it was like actually like balanced and buggy as fuck compared right. to you know. the games were different. Like but, I mean, uh, yeah, Super I mean, Turbo <laughs> on like the Dreamcast or something like or PS One or something. They did a, yeah. they did a port at an Evo one year where it was like a. A different like a different balance yeah. patch essentially yeah. <laughs> yeah. than the game that they want to play on but um i think we kind of jumped the gun a little bit on why people care at all i think we got to cover the basics if you have these buttons here uh the big difference between arcade stick and buttons is that you can't do opposite directions at the same time on an arcade stick or even on a d-pad really we'll get into that more later the people call that socd simultaneous opposing cardinal directions a cardinal direction just left right up down so left and right at the same time that's an socd up and down at the same time, that's an SOCD. You can't do that on an arcade stick because you actually have to physically move the stick and it can only go one direction at once. So that kind of unlocks a bunch of different techniques that are not really possible on an arcade stick for the most part. It also allows you to have more dexterity and speed of inputs. Like going from left to right is much faster because there's no travel time. Yeah. When you're on an arcade stick, you're traveling like left to neutral to right. You know, it's like a whole, you're crossing the Sahara Desert to move across from your inputs. Um, same thing for like a dashing, forward, forward. You just tap, tap. That's much faster than stick where you have to tap, forward, let the stick all the way return to neutral and then tap forward again. Basically, compared to stick, pad is already way faster to do that kind of stuff because you just bump bump. There's way less travel time on a pad. 
but hitbox has less travel time and you can also hit a buttons in the opposite direction at the same yeah. time but that's kind of like where people say hey this is different than stick and we've had problems in the past and so that's where a lot of the dispute comes like oh i can't do that on arcade stick so therefore is is that cheating that becomes the question so yeah, when it comes to SSCD, I feel like what becomes cheating is uh, when there's last input wins. So the standard SSCD cleaning that Hitbox does is when you press left and right at the same time, it gives you a neutral input. So if you go back and you want to go to forward, like you actually have to time the press of the other direction and then pressing the next button or you'll just stand in place and you know, you could get hit. So. In my opinion, I think last input wins is when it gets like a little uglier because then it's if you're holding left and then you press right, it gets right. And same mm. for up and down, which is oh. what Hitbox does, by the way. So, yeah. so Hitbox and, and for up, that's what at the hardware level, if you're holding down and press up, it gives you a jump. Yeah, yeah. And there's always one weird thing with Hitbox is up and down has always been last input wins and left and right is neutral, right? Uh, I, I I was I always thought it was like kind of arbitrary that like like why isn't up and up plus down also neutral? Like I I would I would have preferred that. Uh, but ultimately I think what is fair is if the game developers decide for you and then there's just no SOCD cleaning. I agree at the hardware level, we are just making up rules. Yeah. But like that, I also <laughs> agree that SOCD should just be at the, uh, the software level. And it's funny you mentioned last input wins. That's what Street Fighter V does. If I were to mm -hmm. play on keyboard, custom map, WSAD, play like whatever I want on keyboard, just to mimic a hitbox, right? And I sent left and right at the same time, it option selects to forward. People get a little like weird about last input wins because you get perfect sonic booms, perfect flash kicks, but that's what the game shows. Yeah, like exactly. at software level, if we just let hitbox send every input at once, it would actually give you that. So mm -hmm. people like to like say, oh, these kind of SOCD cleaners aren't fair, but I'm like, at the the developer chose that. Yeah, yeah, like, it should be on it's the It's already there. Yeah. I'm 100% I'm in the same group where it's like, I don't think too negatively of it. Like I think, like obviously through things like that there are minute differences that do matter right but i think when it comes down to it a lot of the time like it is super deep at the hardware level so like i feel like a lot of people kind of demonize the actual controller and not less like not so much when it comes to like more from like a balance standpoint but you know it's more it's a little deeper than, than that because i mean hitboxes and cross-ups and stuff like that are still you know fairly new for like a on the dev side i'm sure like if it actually ever became a problem, which I would be very shocked, right? Like, it's not like picking up one of these controllers, like Leverless is going to be winning you games consistently against mm -hmm. someone that, you know, is no. much better, right? Like it's it's not magic. So I feel <laughs> like like every time, like, you know, from Gear's perspective, like it's, it's never really been relevant. So I am kind of biased in that in that degree i don't really see anything wrong with it uh i admittedly i do have a cross up so you know maybe don't oh, take me the truth Riot. comes out truth maybe don't take me. oh my god this whole time <laughs> it's funny you use that so for the people who don't know cross up cross up is an arcade stick but they add extra direction buttons at the top so that you can uh combine both hitbox type yeah. techniques and arcade stick we do need some kind of level of rules for hardware because yes. like for example everyone agrees that a macro is cheating which is where you press one button and it does two or more inputs Wait, um, a macro is a considered cheating oh yeah oh yeah, yeah. macros are considered cheating like what if there's a button that just did electric wind god fist or like oh, okay, so, okay or... sorry that's what you mean yeah because sometimes right. people use the terminology in tekken as like when people bind two buttons to one but button. those are in oh, the game, in -game so macros. like that that okay. at the 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 software level is considered like l3 r3 it's yes. one input but in the game settings it lets you do the the allowed macros so Correct. you can't have something that does i'm doing l3 and r3 at the same time or for example if i have a button that says this button does jump plus attack at the same time i can't do that so developers added like three punch three kick whatever two attack button binds like that's in the game so that's totally legal um, okay cool just that's no, a just legal take, macro we, we, right? we need to put our energy towards the the true cheaters from the beginning which has been pad because they've been using dual input for so long dual input huh? is the real enemy yes me not not you cuddle i'm not talking about you i'm sure you've never pressed both your d-pad and the control stick and in if your you entire have, life. Can I, don't can I, admit it <laughs> wait wait you said Unless. the d-pad and the what and the, and the and the analog like have you ever used both I, 
I'm about to talk about that real quick for oh, a second. No, wait, hold on. Oh, no. No, no, no. I don't. No, don't I admit don't. it. No, no, no. I swear. I don't. But I believe there's somebody who, like, okay. kind of uses both to do a certain input. Because it's like a half circle. Like, it's a whole, like, slew of, like, directional inputs that are really can be really hard to do on just D-pad. So I believe... Uh, it's like a like some of them like use a uh, analog and D-pad to get uh, that right. movement. So that that would be uh, <laughs> that would be mimicking hitbox type behavior and yes. also maybe considered yeah. cheating, right? A lot of the tourists say you can't have duplicate inputs. Every action must be on a unique button. You can't duplicate it. So I can't have two up buttons, for example, right? I can only have one. But pad, all of them are illegal because <laughs> when you're playing the game, you do the directions here, and then I can do the directions here. And so, right. like Pads, you mentioned, yeah. someone might do simultaneously do these inputs to get special moves. Start. In Street Fighter, that's technically illegal, but they they, they allow it. Zangi players, they buffer their SPDs by wiggling both these at the same time, then press a button. Knuckle do one Capcom Cup, and he does all kinds of weird yeah, techniques he, he does a bunch between of stuff the two. Like this, yeah. He's a pad, so pad. pad. Yeah. And the thing is, is on just the basis of the DS4 alone and like what it can do, you're like, oh, if it can do that, that means other controllers can do that. That is what the cross up is based on. That's how it was even created. Mm -hmm. They're like, yeah, well, why can they do that? Like, we should have like a shot. So Pad started it and uh, we just have to ban Pad and we all go back to sticks. That's the future. That's that we will fix it. We could go back to right. square one. To, That's to <laughs> me, it's like, what is the objective rule? Because a lot of this stuff comes around like there's a feel argument everyone does. <laughs> I feel the games were meant for arcade stick. I feel like this is the intended way to play. But I'm trying to think like, what's like the objective ruling you can do? Because to me, it would be don't have any duplicate inputs. Like you can only have one button per action, one left, one up, one down, whatever. And then let the hardware, let the software decide because we're in the modern era and devs yeah. can account yeah, for this. For retro games, you have to, you can't allow certain things. For retro games, they break when you do SOCD inputs, right? So I feel like just let the devs decide and then have one input but then once again, pad is, this is a, mm -hmm. the anomaly, this joystick, like you're not supposed to be able to do both of these at the same time. Yes, so even fair. that, by that logic, you would ban pad and I don't want to ban pad and no one should want to ban pad because that's, that's everyone's, that's the entire player base. Yeah, man. I'm, I'm exaggerating, like, but <laughs> yeah, people exaggerate, but dude, that's going to ruin the community. It's like, no, yeah, for sure, for sure. about uh, raising barrier to entry, banning pad is, I, I think pad is superior. That is so much better than the, uh, arcade stick. The, the movement alone, I feel, I, I feel so fast using pad, um, right. like the directional inputs, and like you talked about forward, forward, like those those quick inputs. I think mm -hmm. you just tap twice, and then tap back. Like I know you talked about with stick, like uh, you have to press like was in a direction, and then like then it goes back to neutral. Like right, isn't it like it goes back? To, the tra like, the it's called travel time. You can refer to it as that. There's a lot more travel time on arcade stick than pad. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that alone, I'd, I'd pick that right. any day. Yeah, exactly. That's why Hitbox <laughs> is like the, the in-between, right? It's just, it's or more advanced. It's the same idea. And you can go from doing super, which is supposed to be quarter circle forward, quarter circle forward button. Instead of doing that, I can just do this. What? I can just lift my fingers, like one lift, one That's down, one lift, intended. and I get super. So instead of doing two full quarter circles, I can just go ba -ba, that fast and get super. Pad is still faster than the stick, but Hitbox is the next level. So I think the Street Fighter community is the one the most feeling the heat about this right now. And w once again, I just still feel like it's mostly people being scared of change. Because the other thing is people, this is better for some people's hands. It's a big yeah, accessibility yeah. thing too. I, I think we should talk about yeah, that talk also. About the benefits. Uh -huh. Yeah, no, for sure. I, I, I honestly do think there's a lot of positives that come from, you know, just like letting more people play on the controllers they prefer, right? Like it, it, there's a lot of people that I, uh, that wouldn't have gotten into fighting games if, um, if they hadn't picked up Hitbox, for example. Like I have a friend that was like, oh, I, I just can't play on pad or arcade stick, but for Hitbox, it just clicks for them. And then and they can enjoy fighting games so i i do like that more options means more players but there, there definitely needs to be like a like a we need to strike like a like a right balance between like competitive fairness and integrity and like you know cool like stick customizations too shouts to bear what he makes a lot of cool uh, custom sticks as well but yeah i, I think striking that balance is really crucial because we do want players to feel like they can like right. play with the controller that like that speaks to them i guess without you yeah i think like no matter what i think all of us would agree like we just we want people to enjoy the controllers that <laughs> that they want to play on the most but i feel like we a lot of what we're saying also is just we we want organizers and tour organizers to make more of an effort on regulation relating to it, right? 
Yes. Because, I mean, yeah, I do know people that their hands would be fucked up on stick or pad or something for playing a while, but on Hitbox, it's it's not right. a problem, right? So. In, in your community, then, who's, com would you say, complaining the most, then? Is the it boomers! the older? Oh. oh. <laughs> I, I, I kind of empathize with the boomers to some extent, though. Like, I, I get it. You know, when I when I think of, like, players that have really good execution, right? You know, I think of, like, Marlon Pie, Sako, and, you know, the reason we're so impressed by their skill set is because we know how hard it is, right? And when there's, like, a new controller that, like, comes out and it does it easier, you're like, damn, this cool, this thing mm. I thought was cool is less cool because it's easier right so th i think it's that's like the feel that. thing that like the boomers because because I, I i like i get it but you know it's definitely it's definitely a boomer mentality you have to see the bigger picture of what the the controller is giving the players like right. i i get that but at the same time i i do slightly understand it on the emotional level which i think is a bad level to debate but to satisfy the fears try it i guarantee you you'll be like oh all that hard stuff is still hard there's a handful of things which is like easy. Like if you, if you think the hard part is doing a special move input, which is not the hard part. If you have to move, time links, juggle heights, time your buttons, oh, none yeah, of that is any different. all the same for sure. That'll right. never change. Yeah, it's, it's exactly the same. So the only thing it makes easier, in my opinion, is certain special move inputs, which generally is not <laughs> the impressive part to most execution, yeah, exactly. I feel like. No, I, I agree 100%. Yeah. I'm, I think it's entirely built on just like how complicated or how consistently complicated whatever it requires you to do, whether it's just in timing or mm -hmm. yeah, anything like, of the sort. I mean, like obviously, movement. like if you're hitting 10 one frame lengths, it's a, it's a little different, right? Yeah, no, for right. sure. It's it's definitely primarily movement. So for the character that I played in Marvel 3, uh, Firebrand, like he has this really hard input called a uh, wall cling fireballs where he jumps off the wall, like really low to the ground and shoots a fireball. It took me like a really long time of like practice on stick to like get that properly and for hitbox players it's 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 pretty trivial so like they're, they're like it's definitely like specific like directional inputs that, that have the big advantage but but i i i, I can't i can't lie i was i was salty dude when, when all the hitbox fireman <laughs> players just came out because i do man I, I got like i got like wrist arthritis for like a, like a little bit like I, I had this like month that i was like having wrist problems like damn dude gotta train practice these wall click fireballs they're harder on the right side so i i, I did so, i did some crazy stuff by the way they're they're easier on the left side they're harder on the right side so i would like coin flip for like player side it it was bad. Oh, of course. It, 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 yeah, you got to. Oh, yeah. And, and in tech, that's Execution. actually a huge thing, too. Yeah. yeah like you got to. You I, have to because some stuff is so much easier. Machine players talk right. about it all the time. Mm -hmm. Symmetry right. also matters on hitbox, though. Like, that's still, that's actually worse. Oh, like ring <laughs> finger versus hitbox. pointer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Roll, rolling your fingers in one direction versus the other, I think, is way harder. Also, you're, you pick up hitbox, you'll realize your, your ring finger is a, a tiny useless baby and <laughs> cannot yeah. function because you start using this finger so much in all your movements and you're like, oh, I, I hope I'm facing this way because then I can use my index versus the other way I have to use my ring finger. Right, right. Um, so that still exists. But yeah, I mean, work smarter, not harder. <laughs> you almost get yourself oh, tendonitis man. and arthritis for an input when you could have just picked hitbox. So yeah, no. <laughs> uh, trust me, all the hitbox players, that's all they told me. Like the, 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 every hitbox booth that I'd walk by, does be like, hey, Vinny, it's still, still doing wall clings on stake. And I'm just like, yeah, I am. <laughs> it's like, go, go. To me, what excites me about hitbox for Street Fighter V especially, there's things you just cannot do on stick. Yeah. They're not easy on hitbox, but they're possible. There's actually a new level that you can get to on Hitbox that is previously inaccessible due to limitations of hardware. Mm -hmm. So to me, I also see like an opportunity here. Like when I pick this thing up, I'm like, I play Charge Cater, so my mindset is, can I figure something out that nobody has done before that cannot be done on stick with the characters I use? Like I get excited by that. There's oh, new opportunity there. I feel you on that, Brian. Like there's there's exciting implications of like pushing the game, but I, mm -hmm. there's also some stuff that like did. Did God intend this? Like, did the developers want this? You know, like, because because clearly the developers are balancing the game around how they view players are able to play the game, right? So when mm -hmm. you do stuff that like isn't like intended by the developers, you might get some pretty broken results. So I I, I think there's, but, but that's what you know, <laughs> you know spinning in God's <laughs> face with my hitbox is what I that's what excites me. That's what gets me up in the morning. You know, <laughs> uh, but yeah, you're you're not wrong. Developers do need to consider this in the future. To yes. me, the ideal situation is the software handles it all. We have mm -hmm. rules that say just, you can't have duplicate uh, actions available on your hardware. So you, you get rid of people having 40 buttons on their stick, right? And then just Respectful let the developers, theater. the developers need to keep this stuff in mind. 
So I think oh. going forward, it should be all software side. For sure. Yeah, absolutely. I agree. Like, I, I feel like yeah. without software, like, the, it, you need software because hardware detection is actually so hard to do in tournaments as well. Like, how are you going to know these people are cheating on the other side of the computer screen or, like, even at a tournament, right? Are you going to check every arcade stick? Like, I really feel like without, like, software determining this, like, it's pretty hard to know if like what if this is this is like last input wins isn't allowed or something right but, but someone the, has a last the input software win. wouldn't know software if you have an soc so if the rules is you should have no socd cleaning and the software decides it the, the software will never know because if i do left and right and it gives me a jump because I just I'm a maniac and I decided that and there's a oh, super, actually yeah, no, super, you're right yeah the, man yeah. I, I just wish those, the, how do you how do you detect it like how do you, you don't know people are cheating the, that's the this is the worst <laughs> argument you're getting on the one that bothers me the most people say this is gonna lead to cheating I can cheat on any device I want I can plug in any controller and make this do the biggest combo in the world if I wanted to people are look at this and they start discriminating against you and assume <laughs> you're cheating that's actually that's 100 what's going on they look at this and they go how do I know you're not cheating how do I know you're not cheating? What do you mean? You can cheat on anything. It happens yeah. all the time. Yeah. Th no, th someone had, uh, that's already happened. Someone had a, th they got found at a tournament. They had a, a pad where they had perfect flash kicks because this button, oh their God, trigger no was up and kick. So they mm -hmm. never let go of charge. They just did this. And that's oh, what they did cheating. perfect flash kick. Ah. For sure, I think we need to have the conversation in the in the in the right spot. Don't just be like hitbox bad, cross up bad. Like you got to understand like why why those controllers feels like cheating or has like uh, stronger advantages. So yeah, I, I I think people should just stop being like cheater like without thinking about it. No, we should ban everything and go back to arcade stick only. That's what I'm saying. The glory That's days. what I'm saying, bro. The glory days. Let's I'm go. You, bro. <laughs>